Hi folks, Sonia Ash here from Ash Design. Today I want to show you how to add a logo to the ice on this new banner template. So I do have a logo open in another window here. And what we're going to want to do is cut it out of the background. So I'm going to grab my <clears throat> magic wand tool. Where are you? Right here. I'm going to click on the white and you'll see that it selects it all in the background here. I'm going to go ahead and hold down my Alt key and then click on the layer mask and you'll see that it has now cut um, cut it out of the background. So let's go grab the move tool. I'm going to click on the logo, drag it up to the banner tab and let's drop it right in. And here we go, we got right here. Now we are going to transform this. Um, so control T on your keyboard. Um, actually, let's back up just a second. Let's scroll down in the layer palette. Okay. Um, we do want to make sure that this is just above the logo ice layer here, and it is. So I just wanted to sort of point that out. So now let's go ahead and uh, do Control T on our keyboard. And what we're going to do <clears throat> is we are going to distort this. So the first thing I want to do is grab this um, top middle, and let's drag it down and it's going to look severely distorted and that's okay. Um, now what I'm going to do, now that we've sort of got the perspective somewhat right, I'm going to right click on this and I want to scale it, which means I want to scale it um, exactly at um, this perspective. So now I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to grab one of these corners. And you can see that it's scaling it for me which is good. And we do want it to be big and sort of the whole thing shouldn't be um, viewable in here. We should only see a portion of it. So now if I go back and right click and do distort, um, I'm going to just drag the bottom down here just somewhat. I think that looks pretty good right there. So let's hit enter on our keyboard to apply that. And then you can sort of move it around wherever you'd like. Um, I think I might put it right about there. And then you're going to want to make sure that your layer mode is set to linear burn. Okay. Um, what I would do here is maybe go up to the fill. I think it's a little bit dark, so I'm going to bring that fill down somewhat. Because the logo would be a little bit lighter under the ice anyways. And I think that's looking pretty good right there. Um, and I just happen to have a player that I've already put in here. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Um, and I think that looks pretty neat right there. I think the next thing I might do is add a small logo up top here, one that's not distorted. So here's our small logo layer. I'm going to go back to my logo. I'm going to click on it again. We're going to drag it over and let's drop it in there and <clears throat> control T. This time we want to scale this proportionally. We don't want to distort it. So I'm going to hold down my shift key and we're just going to drag in one of the corners just until it fits in there nicely. That looks pretty good. Let's hit enter on the keyboard to apply that and then just sort of move it down into place. And there you go. That's how you can customize your team banners with your own logos. Mm -hmm.